So we're going to expand on our conversation yesterday about barrel length a little bit. And one of the concerns that people have is that with a long barrel, the 22 lr bullet is staying in the bore for a long period of time. And that means if the rifle is moving at all when that shot is fired, that it's going to adversely affect the performance that you see on target. So I grabbed here what I would consider to be one of my worst tripod setups. <laughs> now I know it's pretty good considering <laughs> what it is. It's a uh, really right stuff. Um, two series legs here with a uh, BH-40. So the, their ball head, their BH-40 with a direct attach to this rifle. But it does move around a bit. It's not what I would consider super, super sturdy. I really like this for field shooting. Um, but it, it is not one of the best by tripod setups that I've got. Um, best one is actually being used to support the camera here right now. Uh, nice big three series legs with a fluid head. Um, really good stuff. But what I'm going to do is try to set this thing up, shoot some targets here at 50 yards, and, and demonstrate the worst possible setup that I can imagine. So I'm going to try to fire this thing as close to free recoil as I can get. And we're going to see just what kind of dispersion that uh, shows up on the target. Now, it's a little breezy here today. We've got a good solid 10-plus uh, mile-an-hour wind going on. So it's not a great day for testing uh, precision. But I think it'll be good enough to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. And what I want to try to see is, okay, this claim that's being made about barrel length and, it, and, and creating all these problems as far as your... Uh, natural point aim and how the rifle tracks and wanting that bullet out of the muzzle so much quicker. Well, I'm going to shoot this nice big long barreled rifle and we'll see just what kind of performance I can get on target when I'm not supporting the rifle properly in any way, shape, or form. So that should let everything move as much as it's going to want to move and we'll see what kind of groups I can get there at 50 yards on the target. Well, I can tell you that one was me. <laughs> I just kind of tugged that one down a little bit. This is a really difficult thing to do. I'm finding it very difficult. Um, this is a totally goofy firing position. I would, I would never shoot a tripod like this. Um, but I'm trying to demonstrate whether or not that vertical uh, dispersion is going to happen or not. From the looks of it so far, it's definitely not.
Was that five? That was five. Okay. Yeah, I kind of doinked that one too. Well, I would say that that pretty safely illustrates my point here, folks. This claim that the long barrel is somehow going to have enough extra dwell time to come off target when you're firing, if it's not going to do it with this setup here where I've got a single pivot and it's all floppy and loose like this, um, if it's not going to do it in this configuration, it is surely not going to do it in a proper match situation. You're almost never going to be shooting off of something like this. And there's better ball heads available that won't do this as much. Um, and when you're laying this rifle across a game changer bag or your, your fortune cookie bag or whatever you happen to have there, it's going to be significantly more stable than it is in this position right here. So the concept that the longer barrel is going to somehow allow you to come off target uh, and, and violate natural point of aim during the recoil impulse, that is just another one of those myths involving 22 long rifle that keep getting perpetuated. Uh, where this information came from the first time around and, and who put it out there, I have no idea. But as you can see, in field, practical, real-world conditions, shooting, and I mean, it's windy today, and I did my level best to keep on target there, but I mean, I don't shoot free recoil. <laughs> Those groups would be a lot better if I was properly behind this rifle how I would normally. <laughs> but uh, it, it proves my point here that uh, there, there is no basis in the, in the, con in the conversation for the barrel length and the dwell time of that bullet in the bore having anything to do with the level of precision you're going to be able to get on the target. Uh, more, more importantly, to reemphasize what I said yesterday uh, in, in that video on barrel length, the longer barrel is going to be better, and it's going to be better for a lot of reasons that I've already stated. So feel free to go check that video if you need to brush up on my opinion on the, on the barrel length, but as you can see here, it's not as if it's going to create a problem in actual shooting. Um, this rifle in this position, even in free recoil, the worst condition that I can create for it, uh, it's still punching the center out of these ARA targets. <laughs> still producing groups. Uh, I'd have to go measure those things, you know, but uh, it'd be hard pressed if, if they're bigger than maybe, I don't know, a couple of groups in the threes down there for sure. Uh, and then a couple of flyers where I just I can't keep this thing steady <laughs> when I'm shooting free recoil. <laughs> so um, you can take from that what you will, folks. But again, another another mark towards long barrels and why they're not a problem. <laughs>